did you did you come across any surprises yourself when you're writing this book like anything that kind of blew you away when you're putting it all together it not really because i'm jaded and i'm cynical and i don't have a heart but it was it was worse than i thought it would be i mean and i even went to my actuary because if you didn't know i had an actuary to like calculate my figures and double check my math and like do some uh, especially with a cross correlation between different traits and all that um i would go to him like did i did i miss a decimal point Mm-hmm. Like it is, it, and it, it, that's what was, it was, it was worse than I thought. Uh, but it just reconfirmed everything I experienced. Like, for example, um, there are three guys out there now who have done uh, uh, kind of like a tree node uh, where they've done online dating. And um, I, I forget, you know, the, the three different uh, uh, analyses were done. And it was something like, okay, 10,000 swipes uh, right. Mm -hmm. And then how many got matches and it immediately goes to less than 10%. And then out of the 10% that matched, uh, what percent, uh, responded back and what percent that, and it, and out of, I think it was 16,000, a guy had three in-person dates. And that was was the guy that, um, did that infographic. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not the only one. There's, there's three of them out there and, and this, the dad I had at the point in time, and I'm sure, Somebody would, uh, there's other men out there who are probably doing the same thing, but there were three guys. One in particular, I think was a statistician and he, he kept pretty good numbers as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that was, that was what was shocking to me where you're swiping all the time, uh, on online dating and out of 16,000, you get three dates and, and Lord knows that's not going to lead to anything else. You know, it's not going to be your wife or anything. Um, and then also uh, related to that, another thing that I was shocked with is, uh, the average man, do you know what the average man spends on, uh, uh online dating time wise per day of uh, uh, time per day? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say a couple hours a day, probably 90 minutes a day, 90 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, you got other things to do guys. You, you, I mean, and, and for such a low rate of return. Mm. uh where, where it's nothing it's like you you might as well i mean you know troy francis go out and meet these girls in public um so that was another shocking thing is like where's that data come from was that something that tinder published or bumble or something no it was it was a, a news article so lord knows what the methodology was it's the data we have so if uh if uh, we get better data i could do it. but they estimated men are spending like 85 minutes and women are spending 90 minutes a day on online dating. Of course, women are pursuing that for uh, validation and, and ego feeding, but men are wasting. I cannot emphasize that. You are wasting an hour and a half a day, 10% of your waking hours uh, trying to do online dating. It's just, it's, it's pointless. It's useless. Yeah. And you know, your typical reward is going to be somebody that looks nothing like their pictures. Usually, 10 to 20% heavier than their pictures. <laughs> right. And quite unpleasant often <laughs> with a feminist degree. Um, that's probably going to hate the patriarchy, right? right. And I, I don't know about you, but I got some younger buddies and <clears throat> maybe not so younger buddies, but they're still out there dating and they're, you know, and I didn't believe it. Like it can't be that bad. And then also my buddy Dre or uh, Fred or my buddy Chad uh, Elkins, they'll send me these dating profiles of these gals Mm-hmm. And I know there. I know this is not your average dating profile, but the fact these profiles exist and in such numbers that are so delusional, like mother of three, swipe mm-hmm. left if you have a pro- like. I, even the ones like it's been more than one where a uh, baby on the way. It's like, oh yeah, what, 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 really? Yeah, if you and follow I, me on Twitter, you'll see them. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, no, you post them, yeah, yeah. People yeah. send send them to me all the time, and. Like I only post about 10% of them. Like I get a lot, mm. <laughs> like there's a lot coming through. So those are just the ones that, that people send to me. It, it's, I mean, you're, you're not picking from the best of the best anymore. This is, uh, I mean, you know, the flip side of the token, there's a lot of weak, weak ass beta men too, that, 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 you know, really aren't spoiled for choice either. Right. Well, and I always try to have like this intellectual honesty about me and like, okay, look, the internet is a very fine net and we can drudge, you know, this was always, there's always crazy people out there and, you say, all right, is it just because the internet now catches these crazy ladies? But then to, you know, again, as a social scientist of, of sorts, should we be seeing like a bunch of June cleavers then of the equal amounts? Like, okay, if we're going to go bell distribution 
off to the left of degenerate, worthless pieces of crap where it's like uh, mom to be, child on the way, uh, student loan debt, tattoos, nose piercing, and all that other stuff. Well, shouldn't there be like, you know, a, a svelte, nice, good uh, Christian girl or Amish girl and looking to, you know, engineering major or something like that? And there is not that uh, commensurate uh, uh, high quality women as well. So, you know, again, it's a very fine net and you like, Oh, is it, you know, I think we're just pulling up the worst And obviously we would, we would say, look at this crazy, you know, like that's going to go to the forefront, but the lack of quality women, um, uh, as an a counter or an opposite to all these bad ones is an indication to me and like how bad things are. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that we, for, I don't know, show me a, a girl who's like, Hey, I love guns and I love Jesus. And, uh, by the way, I drink whiskey, you know, like I, I haven't seen that dating profile yet. Uh, but by gosh, there's hundreds, if not thousands of literally mother expecting mother to be, by the way, six feet tall, da, 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 ba, da, ba, ba, da, ba. it's like, wow. I, I, so it, it's very telling. And, and the numbers I have in my book are kind of bearing that out. Yeah.